guys, we're the most bad ones. I'm Shanice. And I'm Steph. And thank you for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoyed the last video and today we're going to show you guys just how to tame that weave. I'm going to show you how to do the wavy look and Shani is going to show you how to do the curly look. So let's get started. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to blend clip-in extensions and how to perfect the wavy beachy look. So I prefer using clip-in extensions so I have the option of wearing my hair short or long. But for the shows, it's better for us to have long, luscious locks because it looks prettier from far and I can be my own Sasha Fierce. So we're first going to start by parting the bottom of your hair. Try to make it as thin as possible just so this part doesn't come out from the bottom. I prefer doing it with my finger but you can also use a comb. And since I have really thin hair, the only way for the extensions to lock in is to tease it and hairspray it just, just a tad. Not too much hairspray, because then it's going to be really hard. And I'm going to use probably the smallest in length in my pack. And then I'm going to curl it. When I curl it, I curl it back. The closer ones in the front, I do it backwards or away from your face. And you're going to leave like two inches out from the ends so you don't have boucles. Boucle is what quinceañeras, or how quinceañeras do their hair, so you never want that. <laughs> then I'm going to also alternate, instead of going away from my face, now I'm going to go forward, just to give it the illusion of having messy hair. And I'm just going to alternate, and I'm going to go back. Try not to hold it too long either, so you don't fry your hair. And voila, first step done. Now we're going to part again. Try to make all of them really thin though. Don't part too much. Repeat the step. We're going to tease closest to your scalp. Last time I got lazy and didn't tease, my hair extension flew and nearly landed on Leo's bass guitar. Hairspray, just a tad. I just find the one that fits best. I think the more you do it, the more comfortable you get, and you also just know which one fits your head best. I like to straighten my hair before I curl it. I know that sounds crazy, but that helps me so it doesn't frizz. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song today. I've just applied two, so the next step, I'm gonna do it right above my ears. First track. Oh, forgot the teasing. Oof, broken hairs. That's what happens when I tease and wear extensions every day of my life. I buy two packs of hair just because since I have such thin short hair I need it to blend and I don't want to look like I have a mullet, so... <laughs> so I'm newly blonde and I have kind of a balayage color. You should dye the top of the hair so it blends better, but I haven't gotten to that yet, so. I do sell them like that. So if you do your research, I'm sure you can find something that matches your hair. Voila. Two tracks. Now we curl away from the face. Trust me, it's gonna get easier. I think it's better if your hair is like a day dirty. These little burnt hairs in the front. Poor things. I need to give some love to the back of my head. So you can really stop putting in extensions whenever you think it blends best. Like right now it doesn't look bad, but I'm kind of crazy and I like to have very, very voluminous hair. So like everyone says, the bigger the hair, the closer to heaven. That's me. Tease and spray. Tease and spray. Sorry, I can't hear you over the volume of my hair. Don't I look beautiful already? It's all messy. The hair, the bed, my life. My heart. <laughs> Check me out. I'm starting to give you a boucle vibe. Remember what a boucle was? But we will brush that out later. For now, let's just finish the top. So after hours and hours of doing my mane, we are almost done. 
I don't know if you can see how long my hair is, but it's like touching my, my hips. That's how you want to look. I like to brush out the curls gently though so you don't lose all the curl. Just a little bit so it blends in with your hair a little better. I like to put my fingers through my hair to shake it out a little so that the curls fall right. I don't know if you could see. It's so beautiful. And then spritz just a little. Again, not too much. Try to get a lightweight hairspray so it's not crisp. And voila. Now I'm ready to conquer the world. <laughs> Alright, so Steph showed you guys how to do wavy, curly, you know, that white girl hair, pretty <laughs> beach look. But we're gonna get serious to the kinks. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take it to the African roots right here, and we're gonna show you how to do curly hair. Um, so you know how people let chicken marinate overnight? Well, I'm gonna let my hair marinate for a while, and that's actually what makes it look the nicest. So it's probably been about a week or so since I've washed my hair. I have really really thin curly hair, which sucks for me, but by my, like by letting it be dirty, it actually um it just makes it bigger on stage. We're gonna let this go. Behold, all right. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little little cray, all right. We're gonna get cray. I'm gonna have octopus hair first. I'm gonna look like Ursula. This is what it is right now. All right. So this is how I start off. What I'm gonna do is I have my little scrunchie. I'm just gonna part it at the lowest little thing I really can. To start with like about this much. I'm just gonna pick up the rest. However, it doesn't really matter. So what I do is instead of brushing through the curls. I'm actually just gonna pull them apart. The more you separate them, the more curls you're gonna have in the end. So I would kind of do it like that. <laughs> By the end, you're gonna be gorge. Trust me. Let out a little bit more. Less than halfway, but almost halfway. But it doesn't really have to be exact. We're not like putting, you know, extensions in like stuff that you have to be more precise on your uh, on your cuts. You're just gonna literally just pull it apart. Just keep pulling, just keep pulling. I'm not really tender headed though. I know that's another thing that some people have, but I feel like with curly hair, you shouldn't really be tender headed because a lot of moms don't give a hoot when you're little and they just pull your hair until, you know, until it's pretty full. See, now you can start seeing that my hair looks fuller just because they're more individual. What I do instead of uh, splitting it on the side again, I'm just gonna split it in the middle right here or whatever the middle is I just make a little bun on one side this is cute just keep pulling just keep pulling the key is to really just make sure you're pulling apart as many strands as you can because when your hair is dirty and curly it tends to really stick all together white people you know you got greasy hair we got hair that sticks together by the way, I probably get ready the fastest in the shows because your girl got a 30 minute face on and then I just do 10 minute hair and I'm good. I'm so Gucci. If my hair was clean, it'd be a different story. See how big my hair's already getting? Now I'm just gonna pull this apart. I definitely got the volume on the outside part. It's kind of looking like a little pyramid. Now we're gonna do the other side. Of course, I mean, I didn't really specify, but you should start from the back because if you try to untangle your hair from the front first, getting to the back is going to be a mission. Just keep pulling. It's the trick. That is the trick. Make sure you're really individualizing these hairs. You could kind of see through them a little bit. Whew! Getting hot up in here. Things are about to get serious up in here. Damn, my arms hurt. I kind of like to pull my roots out a little bit. Like I usually do like kind of a claw motion and just circle it, lift it. Feels good on your head anyway, so you should probably just do it for fun. And now I am a wizard. I look crazy. Okay, so you see that we're in the wizard warlock tree woman stage right now. Right now we're just gonna um, part it in half. Right here, 
or whatever is half or whatever you want to do honestly it doesn't really matter I have a little spray bottle this is just water I like to use water I don't really like to put that many chemicals in my hair and just scrunch it up scrunch it scrunch it scrunch it towards the roots grab it from the bottom you see my ends are a little dry give that some water give it some life it needs love especially those ends curling scrunch and curl now instead of doing the other half I split it again in the middle just because it helps me focus more on the sides so I'm just gonna clip it again don't wet your hair so much because then you're just gonna ruin the whole week's worth of dirtiness and um, and just everything you just split up is gonna go back down scrunching is key doesn't really matter how you scrunch there's no way just this this is the key right here just open and close I hope you guys got that now I'm just gonna kind of fluff this out a little bit so I'm just gonna blow dry it a little if you can hear me make sure it's dry so what I do um, since I have thin hair um, I like to use uh, a little bit of cream I usually use coconut because it's my favorite smell but um, really really important don't grab a whole bunch of cream uh, what I like to do is I just put a little bit of it really 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 generous you see you can't even see it on my hands and just scrunch it in little random little bitty parts and my hair smells great right now just saying I have a little curling iron it's not a wand I've never seen a wand this thin I don't even know how thin this is it's kind of like pinky uh, thickness or a little smaller I really think whatever size curls you have or want or whatever it'll work but I kind of like to just put it in the fronts or like just little random pieces I open this part because if not you're gonna have little quinte curls those are horrible you don't want those So you see these random little, I'm just going to stick my hands through them and brush them out. So I'll just do this side so I'm not uneven and look like a crazy person. Grab random little pieces, mostly in the front because those are the ones that people pay attention to anyway. But pull them apart like you don't even care about them. We don't care about nothing. And then basically my last little step because I'm never satisfied. I'm going to grab this beautiful little brush right here. And I'm just gonna lift hair and I'm gonna make little circles little circles up in here circle circle it up circle 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 it up pull it out and lay it on top I never stop really doing the scrunches or anything like that just because I like to play with my hair and we're done I'm just gonna you know feel it because it's not in that ugly little bun anymore it's so beautiful and it's smells really good I got the curls I got the volume and just everything you kind of want about curly hair thank you guys for watching our tutorial and tune in next week for TMBO Tuesday don't forget to uh, comment below subscribe you know, all of that down there the whole bit <laughs> <laughs> love you guys so much thank you. you thank you for supporting Mwah. yes you may enter your nuggets are here <laughs> Excuse me, Take a nugget break. <laughs> Starving, this is taking forever. Look at this, I already got a hairball. You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. Ah, lift off. We got a whole lot of new money though. That's right. I'm not gonna spray this because it's not working. Drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, no hot. <laughs> that backdrop is getting so soaked right now. <laughs> water all over this. Yeah, I need to look like a queen, not someone who's cleaning her clothes. <laughs> Why people got greasy hair, man? You can't, you can't just wear your hair for after a week of not washing it. Yikes! <laughs> I feel like I have under boob sweat right now. And what then, the f did I just watch? <laughs> <laughs>